Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today, uh, I'm going to tell you how you can use eating feng shui to dispel or uh, drive out negative entities, yeah, whether that be ghosts or whether that be just negative energies or, or presences that you feel in your house or at your office, if there's something negative uh, and you feel that there's something else present that's not quite um, okay, that shouldn't be there, you can use eating feng shui to expel um, these negative presences or dispel the energies that you don't like. And eating feng shui is something that is extremely useful, especially in small spaces, like uh, what we have here in Hong Kong. We very often don't have big flats or, or large uh, offices. So eating feng shui is a very, very simple but effective method that can be used if you are not able to just simply change your bedroom around or, or install a water feature or a fire remedy, yeah? So this is very, very useful. Now, if you uh, don't have any problems with negative entities at your home, or if you feel that, or if you don't feel that there's something in your home or your office that shouldn't be there, then you don't need to do this, yeah? So this is specifically only for those people who think, ah, oh, maybe there's something that's not quite so savory and we should probably uh, dispel this. Now, location, obviously, wherever you feel the negative presence or the negative entity. So there's no specific direction that you need to um, put this remedy in. It's entirely up to you to determine where you feel that this particular entity may be present. And again, it may not have to be a ghost like what you see here on this picture. It could just be um, an area of your home that you feel is a little bit low in energy. For example, in my place, um, I have a bookshelf and whenever I put a flower on that bookshelf, it loses its petals instantly. Yeah, we, we usually have a lot of casualties when I put my flowers there. If I just move it to a different location, not a problem at all. But the moment I move it back onto that bookshelf, it loses flowers, it loses petals, it loses leaves. So clearly there is something not quite okay with that bookshelf or at least with the location of the bookshelf. So there may be some sort of energy that is not quite uh, the most positive one. It doesn't have to be a ghost, yeah? It doesn't have to be a demon or anything. It's just maybe stagnant tea or stagnant energies or just something that is um, not really vibrant and not really uh, lively, right? So it's entirely up to you to determine whether or not you have these kind of areas in your home. If you do, then there's a very simple solution. You use the hexagram number 51. Now, the hexagram 51 is, is called the thunder hexagram. Sometimes it's also uh, called sharp turn. It very often depends on uh, the translator, but the most common term is thunder. Now you can just screenshot this particular hexagram or you can go in the notes to this video. I've put a link up there. And when you go to this link, it will take you to a download where you can uh, where you can download this particular image. Now, if you don't like this image or if you are uh, if you watch this video in maybe two, three weeks time or whenever, and the link has expired, then just Google hexagram 51. Yeah, and you will get a wide variety of different images. It may not look like this one here. Just pick one that looks good to you, that you feel good with, yeah? Hexagram 51, the most common name for it is thunder. And this thunder energy that is depicted on this, uh, with this hexagram is essentially scaring away the scary entity, entity or scaring away uh, the negative energy. It's, it's kind of, it's shaking them up and driving them away. Yeah, this is what the thunder hexagram does. So you take this hexagram, you print it out, um, and then you just put it face up in the area where you think there is a negative entity or there's a presence that you don't like or where you think the T is stagnant. You just put it there leave it there until you think it's enough, yeah? 
So it could be an hour, it could be an, a year, yeah, it doesn't really matter. As long as you think it needs to be there, you leave it there, it's entirely up to you. Um, and this will then either dispel the energy entirely or neutralize it or minimize it to such an extent that it doesn't really bother you anymore, right? And again, this is very, very useful because you don't have to move furniture around. You don't have to install any uh, expensive feng shui feature or anything like this. This is simply done with the power of eating, with the power of the hexagrams. Yeah. So hexagram number 51, you can follow the link in my notes. The link will be valid for seven days from the day of me posting this video. And after that, just Google hexagram 51. All right. So um, I hope you can dispel any energy that you don't want in your home with this very, very simple method. Um, if you do have any questions, please get in touch with me. My contact details are also in the notes to this video. And uh, please do like, share and comment on this video if you liked it. All right, see you soon.